Thank you for viewing the Title I Annual Meeting for Mariana High School. I am Michael Kiltz, Director of Federal Programs, bringing you important information about the Title I program for this school year. Title I Annual Meeting Agenda will cover the strategic plan, Title I information, standards and testing, parent and family engagement, parents' bill of rights, literacy supports at home, accreditation, and the community eligibility provision. Welcome to the 2024-2025 school year. The community we serve strives because of agriculture. The district is implementing a theme honoring the rich history of agriculture and its role in building a better community. Come on down to the farm where we will be fostering academic resiliency and mastery. The farm and the school is the lifeblood of our community. Together, we can build a better community. The sun shines brightly on our staff and students, providing the heat needed for harvesting excellent academic teams to generate a great crop of citizens. Support each other with nutrients, time, tending, and patience to reach toward the sky of achievement through growing relationships of well-being. Rain replenishes the soil and reveals academic improvement needs. As we weed through the data, we will nurture strengths and add fertilizer to ensure we grow to our full potential. We will celebrate the harvest after we reap what we sow through recognizing excellent academic progress. Enjoy the bounty as we plow our way to an A. The 2021-2025 strategic plan is available for review. Please access the district webpage at www.jcsb.org. You can review the progress made in 2024 on the amended plan coming in the fall. The Every Student Succeeds Act amended the Elementary and Secondary Education Act in December of 2015. The law aims to raise accountability by carefully measuring school progress every year, provide more financial flexibility by allowing federal money to be used to meet school or school district needs to ensure that every student has a high quality education, set goals to improve student performance in reading, math, science, and history, improve teacher effectiveness by providing funds for data-driven professional learning, and make schools safer. This is how Title I works for Jackson County. The Florida Department of Education receives funds from the federal government. Districts receive Title I funds from the Department of Education and the school district distributes these funds to schools based on the percentage of children eligible for free or reduced price lunch. However, students do not have to be from low-income families to receive help. Mariana High School is a school-wide program. This means that our Title I money can be used to upgrade the educational program in ways that may impact every student in the school. This also means that every parent guardian of a student in our school is a Title I parent. The school set goals for improvement, measure student progress, use standards set forth in the state's Title I plan, develop programs that add to regular classroom instruction, and involve parents in all aspects of the program. To see visual data on the school, district, and state performance access, edudata.fldoe.org under the Know Your Schools webpage. This interactive data portal will allow you to view data about demographics, school safety and climate, academic achievement, class size information, teacher and staff information, and financial data about Mariana High School. You will be able to compare Mariana High to other schools in the district. Know Your Schools also provides the same data about the school district and the state as a whole. Students are taught educational standards for each subject. Florida is implementing benchmarks for excellent student thinking in English language arts and mathematics. Best standards identify what your child needs to know and be able to do in these content areas. This information can be found on Florida Department of Education's website under the Academics tab. Best standards form the framework for ELA and math, while history and science are Florida State academic standards. A new reading textbook was adopted in 2021, a new math textbook adopted in 2022, and a new history textbook in 2023. To measure student success, the district uses state and local assessments during the school year. We would like you to refer to the assessment page of the District Parent Resource Guide calendar for a comprehensive list of assessments. You can also access this information on the district webpage. Title I funds are used to supplement the program at the school by providing funds which support the following types of activities. 
additional teachers and paraprofessionals to create smaller classes, additional training for school staff, extra time for instruction like before and after school programs, parent involvement activities, and a variety of supplemental teaching methods and materials. Marietta High School has provided $173,449 in Title I funds to pay for services and programs for students. Who decides how funds are used? Every school has a school advisory council composed of parents, teachers, other staff, the principal, and in some cases, students. The school advisory council provides input on how to use Title I funds. Working together, we can improve our school. Title I law requires that all Title I schools work together. The school level parent involvement plan, parent school compact, and school wide improvement plan describes how we work together to make our school better. The parent school compact is a shared effort of supporting student learning as part of the parent and family engagement plan. The compact lists school, family, and student promises and responsibilities to improve achievement and engagement. You should have received this at the beginning of the school year. The compact is discussed during parent and teacher conferences. The parent engagement policy requires the involvement of parents in a meaningful way in the development, implementation, and review of the parent engagement program. The district and school used parent survey data from the past spring to assist in the development of this school year's parent and family engagement plan. The parent engagement plan requires the school to convene an annual meeting to inform parents of Title I students of the Title I requirements and their rights to be involved in the Title I program. We offer meetings at flexible times to maximize participation and provide services and trainings to parents. The parent engagement plan provides parents of Title I students with timely information about Title I programs. The plan answers questions like, what works for you? How can we help? And what information do you need? The parent engagement plan assists parents in understanding academic content standards, assessments, and how to monitor and improve the achievement of their children. The Parents' Bill of Rights provides parents and guardians the right to direct the education and care of their minor child. There is a detailed letter sent home at the beginning of the school year listing the rights of parents. These are the parents' rights under Title I Part A. As a parent, we request your involvement in regular meetings to express your opinions and concerns. Be provided information on your child's level of achievement on the state assessments like FSA and reading, language arts, mathematics, science, and social studies. You have the right to request and receive information on the qualifications of your child's teacher and be informed if your child is taught by a non-highly qualified teacher for four or more consecutive weeks. These are additional rights you have as a parent under Title I Part A. You can assist in the development of plans, access trainings to help your child's performance, and for children in grades K through five, access to an annual parent-teacher conference. A parent's involvement in their child's education will lead to greater success. You are your child's first teacher. You have the ability to influence your child's education more than any teacher or school. You know your child the best. Please share information about your child's interests and abilities with the teacher and ask to see progress reports on your child and the school. These are some ways you can support your child's education. Share the love of learning. Read to your child. Ask your child to read to you. Limit screen time. Take advantage of the public library and the school media center. Show interest in your child's school day. Ask questions, ask to see homework, praise their efforts, and encourage good study habits. Communication is extremely important. Parents are encouraged to communicate with their child's teachers. Please attend school events, visit the classroom, volunteer at the school, join parents' organizations, keep teachers informed, attend special parent trainings, attend parent-teacher conferences, be prepared for the meetings, list your questions before the meetings, and may consider whether you have met your responsibilities as stated in the Parent School Compact. The Florida Department of Education's Just Read Florida's website has several resources to help with literacy at home. Please access the link in this slide for updated information about the best standards for grades pre-K through 8. The Just Take 20 Reading Initiative is available in the link provided in this slide. This initiative has been highlighted in the Parent Resource Guide calendar for three years and has a lot of information about how to help your child improve reading skills. The New World's Reading Initiative provides free books to struggling readers. A resource link is provided in this slide. Additional resources for your children on J-Way, third grade summer reading camp, and the new VPK summer bridge camp.
The Jackson County School District has received its accreditation renewal for the next five years. The district has renewed the community eligibility provision. This allows every student to eat breakfast and lunch for free. This will be through June of 2028. Thank you for viewing this year's Title I annual meeting video. If you have questions or comments about the Title I program, you may email Michael Kiltz at michael.kiltz at jcsb.org.